this is more tests with the ground and neutral here on this cable I have the ground and the neutral of the grid here this is the phase where I get 110 volts uh, it may be it's because they are on the same cable the ground uh, may be picking up something from the face but anyway uh, this is the ground and this is the neutral of the grid I'm getting about two 0 0.2 volts AC and uh, 9 9 volts millivolts DC and let's check here we are in amps DC let me let me check here here getting me how much nothing and nothing on apps zero point zero six apps this see I don't know if this is correct but anyway, this is the result of the multimeter. Uh, 0.00543 DC and uh, 300 AC. Let's put this on DC. Okay. Um, I just put a, a fuse here in case of surge, it doesn't blow off my circuit and my oscillator. So let's connect this. This is the voltage DC. I'll connect here and here. Now I'm trying to find uh, an oscillator circuit that works very good with this little amount of voltage I have and uh, micro millivolts DC I'm getting about 20 millivolts and 18 milliamps 20 milliamps at least it's not on microamps here it's just a 
So I suppose that is 0 0.18 milliamps. It's not microamps. So it's 18 milliamps. I really don't know. This multimeter sucks. <laughs> It's a dose chip multimeter. But anyway, uh, let me unhook this guy and connect direct into the neutral. So here we have the voltage on DC. Um, and this is the circuit I'm working with right now. There are two LEDs here. Let me see if I can increase this. better uh, the more load I use from the neutral to ground the more I get here is a, a little oscillator that is running also from the neutral to ground and uh, goes in here ok, we got the voltage the oscillator is connected together in the neutral to ground I have the circuit this is the one that I'm testing uh, I'm making a new coils here they are all made from twisted uh, cables, uh, like these ones. I don't know if you can see. They are these ones. And uh, the interesting part is that I made two coils. One is driving this little circuit here and lighting up uh, these 8 LEDs the other coil is lighting up these 2 LEDs here uh, let me just turn it off see, these 2 here are connected in one coil and these 8 here are connected into the circuit And these two coils, in fact, they are on this coil. It's just a, a tube coil. This one is also a, a tube coil like this, like this one. And it's a uh, I have a load on the circuit. I'm running with this kind of voltage. It's 20 millivolts. And I got really amazed how if I can 
if I put one coil inside the other, I have the load from the circuit and the load from the coil. What else can be done with that? See? It's one coil inside the other. And it does not work on this way. It's very weak. Very weak. Only on this side. Let me try to sh check the volt, the amps, but I can't. This multimeter is going to kill me. Um, positive. Zero point zero twenty four. Fourteen milliamps. When I remove this coil from the side. Nothing. 12, 13. Now I'll insert the coil inside the order. Have light. And just 12, 11. So now it's 12, 11. And I remove the coil, oops, 14, 15, it's because it's, it's using the neutral to ground, it's everything too much crazy. But it not seem to affect the amps. Anyway, uh, what I wish to share is, is this. I'm using... Uh, it's on milliamps less than 20 sorry some millivolts using less than 20 millivolts and this is the apps i'm testing uh, this oscillator circuit with a new type of coil well at least i never did a coil like this and uh, with a coil inside that can light up light LEDs too. So here are the coils. Uh, 
less than 20 volts, less than 20 milliamps. Well, using the neutral and the ground. Okay. Thanks for watching.